I'm just confused. I don't know what to do again. What do you want? Say your mind. I want to continue the marriage. I believe that God will see me through. I'm from uh, Ada State in Omaha. My name is Chedoze Ochimado. I'm from Ada State, Ada State in Omaha. My name is Chedoze Ochimado. What is that? That the we are here because of my, my wife. Uh, uh, the blood group is not much, two of us. So the time we- I can't hear you. I said the blood group, we are having blood group issue. What is your blood group? What is her own? It's A-S-A-S. <laughs> that is genotype. Yes, the genotype, yes. A-S-A-S. Okay. So the time she gave birth, so I checked the baby and the baby is uh, S-S. So I told her that we can't move on because, because it's risky for our own life, for our own good. So th she, she agreed, but her people, maybe is telling her she not go out from the marriage. So we'll be having issue with the family. But me, I don't have problem with her. She's a very nice lady. But the problem now is because of the, the, the blood group. And Anthony, and Anthony is making me to spend the money. Since, since, since she gave birth to this baby, I'll be spending money here, anyhow, hospital every, every time. So I, I told her that the thing cannot work because of the blood, the genotypes. So maybe, I don't know for her. She, she don't want to leave. But the thing is affecting me. I've been thinking. You've been thinking what? Think, because the thing is affecting me. I've been spending money. Because for, uh, for now, the, the work I'm doing now, just more small work. And every time that I, I go to work, I'll be spending the money anyhow. So it, it's, not, it's not prosper. So I've been telling her, call her, I, I might talk to her. She agreed for the first time. Maybe it's the family is it's telling her. She agreed what? For us to separate for the initial time, I, I told her. Did you marry her? Yes, I pay, I pay her bride price. What again do you do on her head? On, only only bride price. I pay her bride price. Bride price is marriage. Yes. Do you know that I don't support divorce? Yes, daddy. Okay, let's hear from her first. Now, what is the problem? Tell me. When we are dating, we started dating, but along the line, you see, I got pregnant. So, when I, he traveled to Lagos, when I called him and told him that I was pregnant, he said that, uh, am I sure? I told him, yes, that I'm pregnant. He came back from Lagos. We went to taste together and the results also shows that I'm pregnant. So he started asking me about my genotype. I told him that I've not checked it. So he said, that's okay. There is no problem that we should go to hospital and check it. We checked it after that. The pregnancy is almost, is getting to two months and so the he said that I should about the baby. No, I wait. Allow, allow her to finish. He said what? Okay. He he asked me to go and visit um, the other sister. You said he asked you to go and abort the baby. Yeah, I told him that I wanted to abort the baby. He said no, that I should leave the baby. He now took me to her sister. When we reached there, the other sister asked me, what, what am I going to do about this case? I told her that I want to abort the baby. She said, no, that I should not try it. That let's be praying and hoping that everything will change, that God will change it. I said, okay, we'll continue. Before you know it, he came and paid for my bride price. So, when he came and paid for my bride price, my, before then, my mom got accident. So, the people, um, his people, they are not aware of this, you know. He did not, he did not, as in, um, told them what happened. So, my mom now asked him, why won't you let your people know? He said that you don't want to tell the parents so that they will not, uh, feel bad. I said, okay. 
that's how the thing happened. So since then, we've been living together peacefully. So when, um, when I, I, I gave birth to the baby, we now went to hospital and check her genotype. So unfortunately, it was AS. SS, sorry. Okay, give me a microphone. Oga? Okay, sir. When your, the girl, your girlfriend then, when your wife was pregnant, right? Yes, yes sir. Two months pregnant. Two, two, two months and, two right? Months and, uh, before she told me. She told you she's pregnant. Uh, and he before, told her to keep it. And before then, sir. Wait. Okay. Answer my question first. She told you she's two months pregnant. Two months and sir. Okay. You asked her to keep it. Yes. She told me that she wants to abort it. I said, no, I do not support that. So anything can happen. Okay, now. Let's, 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 let her give birth to the baby. But, but, I, will, but I will not marry her. I told her. Wait. Okay. How did you now come to pay her bride price? Okay. Okay, sir. For the initial time first, let me start afresh. The time we are dating. So I, I, I asked her, do you know, where is your, your, do you know your, your gender types? She said no, but she went to school. I said, I, I said why? You're supposed to know your, your gender type because you're a graduate. She said no. Oh, I, I carried my money. Give her. She, okay, go and check it. The time, the, that time, she had not be pregnant that time. So I, I give her money. She go and check your blood group and gender types. She said, okay. Within two weeks, one month, this didn't happen. So uh, I asked her, so I, I think that you take your, that, your genetic type that I gave you money. She said no. I said, why? I said, why? But I, I gave you money for that. Because, and, and me, I, I, I told her my own. I said, why now? I saw, she told me she, This is you are saying is before two of you started dating. Yeah, the time we are dating. Now, uh, when she was two months and pregnant. Yes, uh, sir. Why were you foolishly go and pay her bride price? When you know that she have tested it that time. Okay, sir. Okay, you sir, would okay. have allowed the baby to be born. You don't so, need to marry her that so time. I said no. Her mom forced me. I said no. Say the truth now. Huh? Sir, I can't lie here. I, I, said, I said no. Give, give birth to the baby first. Her mom forced me to say no. That is the first daughter. That I must pay her blood price. Only God, God can be my witness. I can't lie here. Are you a kid that uh, the mother will force you? No. Yeah, man. No, let, what happened? Sir, give your woman a man. Eh? Sir, I, when he came and told my mom, my mom told him that I'm her first daughter, and there is no way that he can um, he can just abandon me like that. He said, "Okay." He said, "My mother did not force him." Okay, the time my mom um, um, told him to go and inform the parents, he refused. He said, "No, he don't want the parents to know about this." Had it been he informed the parents, according to the mother, this marriage will not hold. Give him mine. Okay, sir. Sir, my wife now is lying. And me, I hate lies. She's lying. I want to tell my parents the initial time. Her parents said no. I should not do it. Hey, only God, only God can be my witness. I can't lie here. I can't lie, sir. Sir, you make it worse. The water. Order, Oga. Sir, how did the mother force you to go and pay the bride price when okay. the girl was two months and pregnant? Okay. You know that she is AS and your AS. Why must you go and pay the bride price? That is the point uh, of contention sir, here. I told her mom. I said, mom, see, see, your daughter is AS. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm AS. Let your daughter go to my sister's place and give birth to the child. So I will take care of her. But I will not marry her. But you will not marry her? I said that I will. You told her you will not marry her. Only God be my witness. Sir, eh? I, can't, I can't lie here. I can't lie here, sir. So how did the mother now force you? Oh, her mother said that, no, this is a, 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 a first daughter. That I can't just get, give her first daughter. Bring her that I said, I must don't, don't the initial thing. I'll be pleading with her. I said, mom, he, he, he said no. I said, okay. And, and, and her mommy told me, and her mommy told me that once that, that child, the thing will not affect, affect, affect me, him or her. Who told and you that? Her mom. Is her mom God? I don't. I, he said, he, he, her mom told me say once that, that thing is not. Okay, I, okay, I, okay, I told her that if you if, if you have the first issue, if you think it not affect affect him or her, uh, we stop. 
uh, giving birth. I will take all of the baby. My brother, the problem here is that you have married this girl. By paying the bride price is marriage. I know, sir. You will have avoided this. That time she was pregnant and you find out she's AS and your AS. This girl now, you two of you has born that you are suffering. You wouldn't have go and pay the bride price. That time you find out that two of you are AS, AS. There is no amount of push. How can you say the mother put you? How old are you that uh, somebody will put you? Because maybe you are desperately in need of the child. You are. Sir, I don't want to. I don't want her to give her, uh, uh, do abortion. Because she told me that she must do abortion. I said no. She will die. She will not do any abortion for me. Let's see one woman from international person from outside the country come and suggest something, and let's see one man from Nigeria here to come and suggest something for two of them. My name is Pastor Joshua Iyoguze from Abombise local government of Imo State. Uh, in re re reference to what he said, my candid opinion is this. He has married him, her, she, he has married her. There's no need of saying that because the mother cannot force you to marry the daughter. I, I disagree with you that the mother cannot force you as a man. That's my opinion, sir. So what is your suggestion? My suggestion is this. You should go ahead and marry the, the lady. I am from UK, United Kingdom. And I am a clinical nurse specialist. And I work with St. Thomas's Hospital, London. And I've seen the agony children with SS go through in life. It is agonizing. It is not something a child can go through. Please, my suggestion is they should separate. It is, it is, I'm so sorry. It is very painful to separate. It is very painful to separate as a husband and wife. But it is very painful to go through what the children go through. It is bad. Thank you, Daddy. I am from U.S. So uh, my name is Nodebe Shinyere Mary. Um, I am a prof uh, pharmacist by profession. Um, what they are passing through is not easy. But since, except because from the from what I'm hearing from the uh, guy. I don't know whether if he still loves the lady, but to my own suggestion, if he still loves the lady and it, he has the money, I know that there is, I've seen witness... Wait, wait, let us say her opinion. I've, let us say her opinion, wait. I've witnessed two people that... See, I can all know. I've witnessed two people that if, they, if, the, if the wife become pregnant, they go to their doctor. The doctor will shake. If it's um, a, 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 SS... That is how they normally do, and the and baby will go out. That is abortion. Yeah, that is terminating a pregnancy. They normally do that everywhere. If the baby, if, if she's pregnant, if they check, if it's secular, they will take the baby away. They normally check it when the woman is two, three months pregnant. So that is abortion. But because it's natural, it's, they've already come together, they've already come together, and Kali Church doesn't... Uh, support uh, uh, divorce. Okay, now, separating them and uh, shaking the child at the early stage, which one is better? You say what? My question is, these two people have united together as husband and wife. And the Bible said that what God joined together, no man put asunder. Now, now, if, 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 if you separate them, that's not what Jesus Christ supports. But okay. He... You have made your point. You have made your point. My name is Topoy Femewa. I live in Lagos. Biblically, divorce is not needed here. So they are not going to divorce. But in my own opinion, and what I feel they should do is that they should continue to live as husband and wife, but they should not bear children again and see what God will do. The idea of bearing children should stop for now and thus believe the God of this ministry 
Maybe, a, okay, what of if you have delay in bearing children? Will you not wait? So they should stop for now. Don't think of having children. Let's see what God will do. Maybe in the next one or two, three years, they should just hold on. You are not going to divorce because biblically is wrong. And this ministry will not support you to divorce. So that's my candid opinion. God bless you. Take the mic. Okay, give the woman microphone. I can see you are crying now. Okay, woman, what do you want? I'm just confused. I don't know what to do again. What do you want? Say your mind. I want to continue the marriage. I believe that God will see me through. Okay, what do you want? Um, sir, only thing can make me to continue the marriage now, unless her blood, uh, genotype just change. But apart from that, I can't continue. Sir, I know what I'm passing through because of this baby. And I'm not doing anything for now. I know what I'm passing through. Only God knows what I'm passing through because of this baby. To, to give birth to this baby. I know what I'm passing through. So I can't continue. It's for her own good and my own good. I can't. My brother. I love her because, because, because of this thing. Normally I love her. Oh, ne because ne of this thing I can't. <laughs> Jesus, this marriage was built in order of foolishness. That is it. Uh, when a girl was pregnant, you notice, he said that even before two of you started dating, you asked her her genital, she said, I don't know whether she lied to me. She because said, she, she said what? She says no. She do, that she doesn't know. Uh, uh, I, I gave her money to go and do it. She, she did not do it. Now, that means even before you start dating her, you are expecting that you will pregnant her. But I want to marry her, but I don't know whether that she will get pregnant for, for me. Now, listen, let's analyze the whole thing. If the lady said she went to university or polytechnic, polytechnic, yes. she graduated before you met her. Yes. Eh? Yes, sir. If she said she doesn't know her genotype, even after graduating from poly, that is a lie. Uh, Wait. Now. Praise the Lord. Order. Okay. So. If indeed you know that the girl is pregnant, was pregnant, and you know her genital is AS and your own is AS, you went forward to marry her. You are the cause of this. All this one you are saying her mother forced you. Did the chief force you to go and pay her bride price? Nobody can force an adult to do what you know that is against even unborn baby. Zion Ministry does not support divorce, and Zion Ministry does not support abortion. What the, the other woman was saying is something that they do. If she's pregnant a month, two months, you can run tests and know her genotype, the genotype of the baby. So what most people do is that when they find out it's SS, they will abort it. But we don't support that. Abortion is evil. We also supporting divorce is evil. Me also telling you to be giving birth is also danger to unborn children. Two of you will come to office. I will see your father, your parents, and the parents of your wife. Are you hearing me? We are going to sit down on the round table. <clears throat> I will struggle to make chance. Because one, I don't like divorce. It's against the word of God. And I won't like unborn children to suffer. We will ask the Lord some questions. If he assure us that other children for now, stop sleeping with her so that you cannot pregnant until we do prayers 
Finally, this is not something we can decide now. We have to also pray to God so that two of you can be helped. So, we are going to see you in office with the mother. Then we will pray. And finally, if I tell you go ahead that you cannot have a sequel again, you will know. If I tell you stop, you will stop. But you have made a mistake. And every mistake that is a result of pain that it will bring. May God bless you. Zion, we move. We are from Umaya. You will come. I can give you money. They will come. You are married. So is this why you come from Umaya? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. We, we, we are going so many places, churches. So they told us that we should separate. That uh, the spirit of God said that we should separate. Oh yeah, the spirit of God said you should separate. Uh, yes. Now no spirit of God will speak contrary to what is in the Bible. And no spirit of God. The pastor can tell you that he wants you to separate. But let the pastor not say the spirit of God say. So on that baby foot that actually actually we am before that if we we are the issue. Listen, he na about that that in a book or book. Yeah. Now, get on to it. You can say the pastor said you should divorce. But no spirit of God will ever say someone should divorce. It can never come from the spirit of God. We will make sure that no child again will be danger. We will sit down from the poor family. And we will pray to God and tell you what to do. God bless you. We are going to hundred, hundred thousand. We are going to until your family are there. Where? God bless you of you.